Good morning, friends, and welcome to Home Moravian Church's Godly Play Story. This is the season of Easter, when we celebrate the mystery that Jesus died and Jesus came back to life. The temple was in Jerusalem. And you probably remember how the tabernacle had gone through the wilderness with the people of God and it had carried the 10 best ways to live. And when they came to the promised land, the people of God built the temple and people would worship there three times a day. They would worship in the morning, they would worship in the afternoon, and they would worship in the evening. And back during Bible times, if people's bodies worked differently, then it was harder for them to get a job. And so there was a man whose legs had never worked and his friends brought him every day to sit. and to ask people for money when they came to the temple. Because that way, he would be able to get the food that he needed to live. And so he would ask people if they had any gold or any silver as they were going to the temple. And Peter and John who were Jesus' disciples, also were going to the temple. And the man asked them if they had any money that he could have. And Peter said to him, we don't have any silver, we don't have any gold, but what we have, we'll give you. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. And the man's legs had never worked. But Peter offered his hand and the man got up. And all of a sudden, he was able to walk. And he was so happy that not only did he walk, but he leapt and ran. And they went into the temple and the people recognized him since this man would sit outside to ask for money. And they were surprised that this had happened. But Peter explained to them that Jesus was very powerful and Jesus' name had helped the lame man to walk. I wonder how it would be not to be able to walk and living in a world where you needed to be able to walk to have a job. I wonder how it was to be one of Jesus' disciples after Jesus had lived, after Jesus had died, and after Jesus had ascended. Jesus had taught his disciples how to heal. I wonder how Jesus is with us. And what Jesus teaches us. And how, just like Jesus was inside the disciples, how Jesus is inside of us. I'm going to read this story from the Bible. But first, I'm going to light the candle to remind us that Jesus is with us. If you listen carefully, you might be able to hear the match strike.
you can see that it's lit. As I said, this story is in the Bible, and if you look, you can tell it's closer to the end. And it's a story about Jesus. Even though Jesus has died and risen again and ascended, it's still about Jesus. And this is in Acts, and if you look closely, you can see that it's in chapter 3. This is the first 10 verses, and this is how it reads. Peter and John were going up to the temple at three o'clock in the afternoon. Meanwhile, a man crippled since birth was being carried in. Every day, people would place him at the temple gate known as the beautiful gate, so he could ask for money from those entering the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to enter, he began to ask them for a gift. Peter and John stared at him. Peter said, look at us. So the man gazed at them, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I don't have any money, but I will give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, rise up and walk. Then he grasped the man's right hand and raised him up. And once his feet and ankles became strong, jumping up, he began to walk around. He entered the temple with them, walking, leaping, and praising God. All the people saw him walking and praising God. They recognized him as the same one who used to sit at the temple's gate asking for money. They were filled with amazement and surprise at what had happened to the man. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for what you taught Peter and John to do. Jesus, thank you for being with us. Help us to feel you close. Help us to listen to you and talk to you. Thank you for being with us. In Jesus' name, amen. And just as the light has been in one place and will be in all places, so Jesus once was in one place and now is in all places. Amen.